All right, man. Both of these teams going into this are three and three. Uh, Clippers had major lineup changes this year, and um, for them being three and three is actually pretty promising. Whereas the Bulls, your current NBA champs, them being three and three, it is got to be infuriating. So two teams with the same records, but have to have completely different attitudes about those records. Uh, going into tonight, the Bulls they have the mentality that they need this win here. And the Clippers, I mean, they got the mentality that you know, they're just happy they can keep it close on the road. I guess the defending NBA teams after the season they had last year. Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. It's the oh. Los Angeles Clippers and the Chicago Bulls. Here are the five you know, for the Clippers, Clippers. drafting Daryl Chapman. Leonard is out there with Odom, uh, and it's Chris Paul, and it's Chapman really quite the, the position. quite the pick. Jordan I mean, number eight overall, but uh, huge upside Bulls, potential the for them. Game, a win against the you know, he's an absolute star uh, in college. And, it, and his play styles should translate pretty well here in the NBA. So, you know, they're excited to see the things he does. Mm. Meanwhile, uh, the Bulls, I mean, they drafted Wes Andrews uh, to replace a retiring Dennis Rodman. And, I mean, that's his MO, is, is defending and rebounding. So... Bender kicks to you know, it, it, Six on the they're hoping clock. he can. He's got big shoes to fill, but they're hoping he can fill them. Got a piece of it and taken away by Paul. But their starting five is the same, and, and their starting five is elite. And you know, here you can see they're struggling. It's, it's kind of weird. Outside Oda. Lamar Odom, not on drugs. To the middle, here's Leonard. Mm. And it's Making it into the starting five. There's just so much the Clippers, man. Plays with. It is what He's been incredible. Up and his come up has been incredible. Now, here's Jordan. Like Jordan Kawhi. From deep, oh, from deep, deep, deep. That was, I want to say, that was absurdly deep for, for off the dribble, fading. Pass to Paul. He dishes it to McAdoo. Mm. Mm. Now here's Odom. Mm. Pass to Leonard. Five to shoot. The Clippers need to get off a shot. The tray. The shot by Odom. Great Mogul. defense by Matumbo the there. Bulls off to a slow start. Scott Pippen, bro. Searching for their first points of the game. Yo, Jordan missing that one. He was open on it. Here's Leonard. Five points in the game. The rebound by Jordan. Guys are looking for a spark. Scotty Pippen. Yeah, a cold at six and nine now is a for sure. Uh, pretty fantastic Pippen point guard. You can see the floor very the well. On the by yeah, nice he waits for Jordan yeah, to get all the way beyond the arc. Musical rhythm to his game. And let's head over to the sideline. Give it to him. And David he knew that was an easy bucket. Thanks, Kevin. I was able to speak with Chicago. I think that coach. speaks to the, the mentality of this Bulls team, man. I mean, they. The rim. Challenging uh, opponents at the top of the jump and making it difficult. You know, Jordan missing a couple basket. shots in a row. Still going to feed him. He's still going to take the shot. Spend energy getting back in transition. You know, they, they live in die. Those driving lanes. New Jordan. So guys, we'll see where their energy lies throughout this game. This uh, okay, ooh, David, much appreciated. Ooh. Ooh. That time. Made it look too easy. I'll tell you this though, this uh, Clippers team, they're playing pretty big. You know, I was looking at them. You got Kawhi, you can argue you can play four. Three. The four, but are you put the five at the four? Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Yeah, Bob McAdoo, center. Then you got Daryl Chapman, Jordan who was a, a small forward in college. They're playing him at shooting goal. Pippen a screen on Leonard. Outside Pippen from the arc. Good mm. on the triple. Practically automatic shot. Another Pippen. He's been scoring exclusively from the on the arc, and he is good to go. Always going up for the alley oop here. Oh, oh. Nice dude, if he would have got that Los pass Angeles. off and then Chris Paul would have like hit him with a teardrop, a three that would have been spectacular. Leonard's got eight points. 
the real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect mm. nothing less from Ooh. these two, taking pride Pippen. and making plays. He's 6'9", but he's got the ball handling and skills of somebody that's like 6'4". Now Michael Jordan such a well -rounded offensive proving player. that the bank is indeed open off the glass Oda there. The on and that shot makes it from the Ball elbow. Kicks it to Odom. Odom with the screen for Paul. Here's Chapman. Those three pointers off Ooh. the mark. And a solid rebound. Chicago leading. Pass to Pippen. And literally bleeding for the ball. Oh, that's a bucket. No one around Michael Jordan. Wide open. He's like, yo, man, if you saying, oh, if you let, if you want to let me take threes, I'll take them all night. Outside Odom. The 18 footer is right on the mark. I'll take them all night. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to double screen, hipping down low on Chris Ball. Just count it. Pippen's got his second bucket. Kind of got that double like screen. What the defense is thinking here, but Pippen him that speed advantage back. Oh, Chris Paul getting to his shot. Oh, that was a great effort. Man, so get a hand up in the face of the Pippen shot. lucky. So He'd have been on a highlight reel tomorrow. Now <laughs> Chris Paul sauced him up like that. Back to Pippen. Look what they're doing with double screens on Pippen. Really stressing Paul and bam. People like Eric Rose and Michael Jordan prospering for him. Errol Chapman. That's good. Chapman's got his second basket of the night. Well, efficiency is everything, right? So far in this one, Still this guy has been on the money. The lineup going through a lot of changes. Shoots a lot of chemistry building they said they have to do. They said that they're definitely going to be a second half of the season team as they as they learn to gel and match. They're telling everyone they're going to be devastating. Hey, so far they're three and three. You can survive if you really have that mentality. You think you're going to get better as the season goes along? From surviving that first part of the season, things go all the right? way forward. Most times you just yeah, they finished the first part of the season, 21, 21, and then they got confidence they could finish the rest of the season, you know, 30 and, and 10. You know, they're a 50 win team, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're playoff bound. That's a two from Paul, Ooh. and again the Clippers good for two. Flipping so far, both teams scorching the Nets. You gotta love it. Well, you love it when you can get off to a fast start offensively. You hate it though when your opponent does oh, the Bender, same. Oh, Bender, you gotta find Jordan right oh, there, dog. He's He's he was wide open. On the board yet. Here's Jordan. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. I don't the know Clippers what trail. Bender was doing, taking the ball up, and now. Lamar is on outside Odom. Eric Rose. Jumping I was saying, if I'm him, I just put my back to the basket and drive down. Oh, Chris Paul, oh, that was so sweet, baby. Seven points in the game. Oh, that was sweet. <laughs> Scotty Pippen hadn't a clue. Pippen finds Rose outside Jordan. And nothing is falling for him right now. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. McAdoo, the pass to Leonard. And it's off from three-point range. Now the Bulls with it. They trail by one. And that was a with sweet he has five for the Euro three. step. I think it was quarter. Eight points for him, and the Clippers decide to Clippers take their first time, time out here. And get your here bench out on the floor. Pippen's gone three for four. Four will be three. Ball, George. Outside Porter shoots the three. JT Porter and the great shooters. Lake Griffith. And they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's I don't know who this dude is, to be honest. They set the screen. Another three for Chicago. 
but the Bulls got their home the bench out there too. They got Jimmy Butler, Zach Levine, Mario Rosen, and they got the rookie Wes Andrews, Artis Gilmore out there. Here's free. Pocket six. Alone is screen on the beam. Oh, foul him. Heavy. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three point attempt. You guys, what do you think about the offensive? Yeah, there was definitely some contact. For the Bulls. Knock him out. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting well from the three point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. Good on the second free throw. And he makes all three. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Levine dishes to DeRozan. Over quarter. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Griffin passes to George. Here's free. Two minutes. Screen by Malone. And it's blocked. Wow. We found a block from Artis Gilmore. Now they're moving the ball well. Back to Levine. Hand off. Levine loses the bounce, but look at that. Behind the back. Bouncing pass. And the Bulls lead by five. And down in the corners. Butler can be dangerous. Ooh. With that shot. Or vision. He's dead. Well, you can see it's a matter of pride out there. You're giving the Bulls the business right here. When someone makes a shot, the first thought is, I want my own back. Brother. He's up. Now here's what he's gonna take that. Mm. The Butler's got a pair of threes. A close out there by Paul George, but it wasn't three enough. Points off of three pointers and the D shells. Griffin a screen on Butler. DeRozan against Porter. Mm. 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 And he overshot that one, missing. Listen, offensively, oh, they're Kamara, very Yeah, he's open. He's taking it. Splish splash. Under very little pressure, he just can't convert. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. George, that's oh, a two point. Two. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Silky, smooth jumper from Paul. The Bulls bench George, isn't usually their, their strong. He gets free from that uh, spot. Their point of strength. But today, oh, everybody's eating. Mess around among the rows and spectacular. My goodness, Jesus, sir. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Should be the last possession of the quarter here. There's a big difference between down five and down eight in the one quarter play. Big difference. Driven a screen on button. Ooh. They couldn't make that difference there. And so it but they could in the long haul. Wow. 125 to 107. The Bulls must have really fallen apart. I mean, 38 points in the opening quarter. And they're up nine. And then they gave it all the way in the third. And then in the fourth, followed that up with an even more abysmal performance, um, leading to uh, you know an 18-point victory for the Clippers. Um, I mean, the Bulls 52% from beyond the arc. They just not taking a whole lot of shots from beyond the arc. And then look at the free throws. Three times as many free throw attempts. Three times. As many free throw attempts, and four times as many makes. That's it's, that's the that's the difference in the game right there. It's an eighteen point game. Twenty five point difference in free throws made. So I mean that that is the game, man. Clippers just played big, um, played massive. 
got to the line and converted. What can you say? I mean, it's bad when it's bad when DeMar DeRozan is the leading scorer of the team. Not that DeMar DeRozan is bad, but on a team that has Scottie Pippen, Derrick Rose, and Michael Jordan, there's no universe where DeMar DeRozan should be the leading scorer in a game. Um, and Pippen did his job, man. He went 6 of 11, 2 of 4 from beyond the arc. He had 10 assists, a steal, and a block. Um, but when you had guys in the past couple years that have been averaging 25 points a game, score 30 points overall, not even, 28 points overall, you know, there's there's a problem there. E. Rose, Michael Jordan, they got to revisit things. And you know Jordan going to Jordan, he's going to get his stats elsewhere as well. But you got to revisit things, man. You definitely got to revisit things. That's, I mean, that's, you know, you talking about an 18-point loss. Well, one of you guys, probably both of you guys, could have made that up easily amongst yourselves. Clippers, though, man. World be free. Yeah, he was tearing them up. Uh, he was saucing 27 points. Only missed one shot on the night. Uh, Kawhi Leonard had 24 points um, as well. Five of seven from beyond the arc was giving Jordan the business um, on both ends of the court. Lamar Odom stepping up huge with points. Daryl Chapman stepping up huge with points. Bob McAdoo double-digit rebounds. Paul George off the bench had multiple steals. Chris Paul had double-digit assists. Um, so, I mean, everybody was was clicking. But really, this goes to, you know, uh, Kawhi Leonard and Daryl Chapman for being efficient on offense and for shutting down Derrick Rose and Michael Jordan on defense. A tall task. They were able to do it. On both ends of the court tonight, and that's why they got the dub. And now, actually, let's see who, who let's actually see because this is about free throws. Yeah, we'll be free 12 free throw attempts, and, and then Lamar Odom with seven. So, yeah, while Chapman and Leonard were able to shut down Derrick Rose and, and Michael Jordan, you really got to look at the free throw attempts, and that's coming from Griffin, that's coming from Odom, that's coming from World Be Free. They were the ones that pushed the pace, got to the line there. 